The news of 530 starts with an ongoing problem in our area when it comes to the COVID vaccine for younger children. We're looking out for your family's health and safety tonight. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. I'm Adam Longo. We're coming at this from two angles tonight. We are verifying the process of getting vaccines ready to be given and asking why this keeps happening. Yeah, we told you about at least four incidents involving children being given a weaker vaccine dose because it was diluted too much. We start our coverage tonight with Megan Rivers and Megan. We know you spoke with parents. What are they telling you? Well, parents have concerns. Today I spoke with one mother who says she has no plans to vaccinate her two children and a father who says he's trusting the science and will vaccinate his children as soon as they're eligible. In late October, the FDA authorized the emergency use of the Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. Since then, there have been a number of mishaps across the metro region. Erica Smith says this adds to the many reasons why she's choosing not to vaccinate her children. The vaccine itself is still fairly new. There are no long-term studies. It's too new to get any to have any long-term studies. Um, and so I feel like a child, they're still developing. Erica's son is nine years old. Her daughter is three. She says her son has had adverse reactions to vaccines in the past. My son is vaccinated. He's completely vaccinated. My daughter has never had one vaccine. My daughter is, well, she was two months premature. She had Nick, you say, never been vaccinated, and she is by far healthier than he is. Jason German and his wife have two children. Their youngest just four months old. He and both kids tested positive earlier this year for the virus. It's why he says they've decided to vaccinate their son when he turns five next spring. We are both more concerned about, you know, residual or, you know, long term symptoms of COVID versus long-term symptoms of, of a vaccine. A decision he says they made to not only keep their son safe, but other children as well. He is a germ magnet. <laughs> uh, we've, we've already had two bouts of hand, foot, mouth with him <laughs> being in school. The vaccine dosage for children is a third of the adult dose. The FDA says it's important kids get the dosage appropriate for their age and not their weight. Well, you have two parents there with two very different views. Earlier today, I put out a poll on Instagram asking parents if they plan to vaccinate their children. Now, earlier today, a lot of parents responded saying no, but I just checked that poll before we came on air, and it's about 50-50 right now. And some parents are saying that the reason being is because the mistaken doses has played a part in their decision making. Making in the studio, I'm Megan Rivers. I'll send things back over to you. It is a polarizing issue for sure. Megan, thank you.